Hello everyone, welcome to this video. Uh, today we will talk about Salesforce Files Connect and how to connect Salesforce to um, Google Drive. So let's jump into this video. I'm currently on the Salesforce Sales Instance and I will go into Setup. So what I do first is I will uh, write File Connect and I click on Files Connect. So now I will click on Edit and make sure that all the checkbox are checked. And I have the choice between Reference and Copy. The difference between Reference and Copy is that Copy will copy all the files from Google Drive into your files library within Salesforce. And the Reference will be just a way for you to access your Google Drive files and folder within Salesforce directly. So in our case, we will choose reference. I click on reference and I click on save. Then what I will do is I will search for Google Cloud Console and I will click on the first link. What I will do is I will go in one of my projects and I will click on the hamburger menu and then I will click on API and services to uh, create a new uh, authenticator app. So I click on credential. I click on create credential authenticator client ID. To create an authenticator client ID, you, you must first configure your consent screen. Configure consent screen. Create app name sales, Salesforce123. Support email, my email, email address, my email. Then I click on save and continue. Uh, save and continue again, save and continue back to dashboard. Once we have that, uh, we will click on credential. We will create credential, authenticator client ID, and we will say we want to create an application that will be called Salesforce123. And we will create. So now, as you can see, I have two keys that have been generated, your client ID and your client secret. That's amazing. I can go back in Salesforce and write um, and write authentication uh, authentication provider. So I click on authentication provider. I click on new. I click on Google. And here I have name. I will call that Google Drive one two three. Consumer key is a client ID in Google Cloud Platform. Consumer secret is client secret in Salesforce. Authorize endpoint URL. For, for this, I have, uh, I have done some res research on the Salesforce documentation and I have the uh, URL directly here. So I will copy it and paste it. Basically, we are adding more parameters to the generic URL. We are adding access type equal online and approval prompt equal false. Then I will copy the second URL. That is 
similar to this one, to the token and point URL. So I don't even need to, to copy it. However, I will have to specify the scope. On the scope, I will uh, basically give some information such as open ID, email, profile, and the URL to access the Google API, Google Drive. Then I will be able to save. And from that, I will get a callback URL that I will copy. And I will click on my Google Cloud Platform app to add the redirect URL callback from Salesforce. I click on Save. Then what I will do is I will go into permission and click on permission set. And I will create a new permission set called uh, file connect user. And I will click on save. So what I will do is I will click on system permission. I will click on edit. Then I will try to find file connect cloud. I will click on it. I will save it. I will click on save again. Then I will go into my permission set file connect user and click on external data source access. And, and I will come back to this later, but just what I will do is I click on permission set. Uh, I click on file connect user and I will click on manage assignment and add an assignment. And I will add me as the system administrator and click on assign. So now I have the permission of using the feature of Salesforce File Connect. I will go into external data source. I will click on new external data source. I will click on type. And here I have Files Connect Google Drive. That's the one I want. And note that this wouldn't be accessible if my user profile wouldn't, if my uh, user, the system administrator, didn't have the permission to Salesforce File Connect. So I will call that Google Drive 123. And my authentication provider will be Google one, two, three. So like what we call, uh, what we created together in authentication provider. I will click on save. And here we will face an issue, I guess, error. 403. Why this error? It's because we need to have some test user for this app. So what I will do is I will go back in Google Cloud Platform and I will find uh, uh, how to um, add myself 
as a user, a test user. So I click on authentication consent screen, test user. I add my email address. I click on save and save. I can add up to 100 users as test user. Now we will be able to try again. So I will uh, go back into this type drive per user. So you have the possibility uh, to make the connection accessible for a specific user or, or for all the organization. We will stay at per user. Authentication provider, I click again on Google Drive 123 and I click on save. Oh, so one, two, three, four. And I click on it. Okay. So we will try again the connection with the account. So they say the Google uh, app is not verified yet, but you can still use it. We solved the issue that we were facing before. So you can click on continue. And I will say, see, edit, create, and delete all of your Google Drive file. I will give access to this permission. I click on continue. And now that I have this, there is one missing piece is uh, that I didn't enable the Google Drive API yet. So I go back in Google Cloud Platform. I search for enable uh, API and services, add enable and API services. I click on, I search for Drive. I click on Google Drive API. Then I click on enable. So this take a while. Uh, okay, the API Google Drive is now enabled. So I can go back here in Salesforce. I click on App Launcher. Uh, maybe no. Before that, I will click on validate and synchronize. Here, as you can see, I can click on select. I can select that. And I can click on synchronize. Okay. So I have synchronized uh, my external data source to a new uh, external object called item Google Drive 1234. Now what I need to do is click permission set. So I click on permission set. Here I will uh, find the permission set that I created uh, just before. So files, files connect user, I click on that. Then I will have to click on external data source access. And then I will click on edit. Here I have the available external data source item called Google Drive 1234 that I will add and enable. I will save that. So now that it's saved, I should be able to go click on the sales app 
and within files, I will find Google Drive one, two, three, four. Okay, I can click on here and I connect my account. Continue. Continue. Now, if I click on Google Drive one, two, three, four, I can access my Google Drive directly from Salesforce with all the information related. So I hope you enjoy this video. There is a lot of benefit of doing this integration with Google Drive and Salesforce. Um, I think like the only drawback is that you cannot upload files from Salesforce to Google Drive, but at least you can access your Google Drive file from Salesforce. Thank you for watching this video. And if you have any question, feel free to ask me. Thank you.